Matthew, what's your number one struggle that you would like to share that you could share with us today in your real estate business that you're working to overcome? Yeah. So I think the, the number one struggle here is really going past the 10 months. Uh, I mean, the 10 months, the 10 deals a month. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think, like I said before, like one deal a month is great. Two deals a month is great. But based on what we want, based on our personal uh, goals, being able to surpass that, like that's something that we want to do. And for some reason, like it seems like we're just not able to. Um, it's it's inconsistent when it comes to that amount, that amount of deals a month. Uh, it, we, we we haven't been able to 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 surpass it uh, or do like three months of nine deals each month, you know? Right. So like a consistency. Yeah, exactly. So that's, that's probably the one, the one struggle. Um, so we really use going back to what I was saying about KPIs and, and really analyzing um, all of your numbers, your strategies and all that stuff. That's kind of what, what we're doing for this new year so that we can really like make sure that we're going to be on, uh, on track or at least we're going to take these steps necessary that, that are needed so that we can get there and really shoot for it. I think one of the things too, it's um, like the training that we're doing more, we're implementing more training for acquisitions people. Like we, we have good closer. Um, I still close deals. Like I enjoy it. I like it. Uh, I'm not going to say I'm the best out there, but I'm, I think I'm we all good. do. I think we all do as like an acquisition, our best business oh, for the best. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, yeah. Uh, so that's that's another thing that we're trying to be more intentional about going to sales trainings, going to events, really, tr really trying to build a culture for the team so that everybody's right. more, it's it's everybody's most of the time motivated. Uh, I was going to say always, but it's, it's hard to always be motivated, you know, uh, right, but, right. You know, just really build that culture of like we're hungry. We're getting after it. We're, we're working as a team because I, I um, you know, Patrick Bay David, you know, uh, I have I have. My my best friend works for his company, and he oh, wow. sold it for like I don't know half a billion or something, and and they have like fifty thousand insurance agents or something, mm. and, and so really studying like the way that they keep their people uh, uh, together, it's like it's right. super interesting and fascinating. So that's and I think that's something that's hard. It's hard to do. Um, right. You asked me earlier, how do I keep the the sales team motivated? You know. So just always looking for ways to try to to have that culture, to build that culture, to keep the, to keep the team motivated and accountable. Like all of that stuff is gonna give you the results of like, I think um, we just need to do a better job to get us to that past ten deals, you know. And obviously the marketing is gonna need to, the marketing budget is gonna need to increase and all that stuff. Hundred percent. Yeah, I, I think we like it's you know people just let it roll off your tongue. Oh, culture's this, culture's everything, whatever. But it's yeah. like when you actually try to implement it, it's a lot harder and it does take a pretty significant skill to build. So it's, it's just like a muscle, right? You got to figure out what works. And then one thing that I struggle with too, is I try to do one-on-ones with everybody and I'll like go with a week without doing it or two weeks without doing it. Yeah. And it's like, I'm trying to get disciplined. I was like, every day I got to sit down with these guys and go one-on-one, -on -one. what's going on? What's your purpose? What is it? Right. Uh, Carlos, yeah. let me ask you this. Oh, go on. Yeah, no, I was just going to say like, that's, that's a, that's a great thing to do. And, and I'm sure you go beyond like the office and, and the work stuff. Like uh, I'm sure you ask them like, how's life? How's your kids? How's everything? Right. Cause right. I, I, I try to do that because I want to, I want to tell them like when I've hired people, um, especially in-house people, I tell them like, I don't want you used to show up for a check to, for a paycheck. Right. I want you to, I want you to, I want you to show up because you want to be here and you want to change your flight, your family's lives. I want to make sure that I know what you want out of the next five to 10 years. And even if, even though you might not be here for five to 10 years, if we, if we do everything that we can right now to get you to where you want to be in 10 years, then you're going to be set up to be successful. And right. I always ask them like, okay, what is your health? What are your goals with your health? What are your goals with your family? What are your goals with your, uh, your personal development, uh, like reading books or whatever it is. Right. I think if 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 everybody is aligned and everybody's on the same page, like there's sky's the limit. Right. No, I heard uh, on a podcast, I forgot who it was, but yeah, he basically put the purpose 
like what they told them when they first joined their purpose, like on their desk. And so every time they were slacking or they didn't make the calls, they didn't make the offers. Mm -hmm. They always like, are we going to be able to hit your goals or hit, you know, this is for your purpose. Right. So that was kind of cool. I mean, I know some people have like vision boards. Um, honestly, we don't, we haven't done that. I want to start doing that. That'd be, we, uh, yeah. in February, we'll start building up our sales team once again. Cause I was the, I was up to four acquisition guys, um, earlier this year. And like, I feel, and I'll just admit it. I feel like I failed miserably on them. And, yeah. um, you know, I can say it's them, right? Like you guys were locking up deals, but in the end, it always comes down to, you know, me and I'm, I'm going to be learning to get better.